بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم uh, brothers and sisters i just want to uh, take a few moments and uh, share some information and a uh, perspective in light of uh, what's going on there in uh, with israel and the palestinians and um, in light of this this war that's going on with hamas and Israel and all that we see going on. Um, you know, Quran, the scriptures before always mentioned the children of Israel and uh, in Egypt, you know, how they were in bondage in Egypt and how Allah sent Moses to free them. And in this reality that we see going on today, we know Egypt is involved uh, if just right on the surface, we know that with the bombing that's going on in Gaza, that uh, the Palestinians were, they were told to head in a certain direction towards Egypt, but right at the border, they wouldn't let them migrate into Egypt. And we know Egypt uh, has a relationship with Israel and all of that, you know, currently, but we also want to look at that a little bit from the scriptural point as well. And we know that the uh, water and the food and things just coming into Gaza now, you know, as of course coming uh, uh, via Egypt. Um, so I just want to uh, look at this and share some information, important information um, concerning us as well. Our leader, Imam W.D. Muhammad, uh, as we know, he, he went to Israel, but I want to share something uh, uh, that you may not uh, uh, know about uh, before he went there at the invitation of, uh, of Arafat. But I, I really want to start by reading something from Quran, Surah 79, starting with Ayat 15. Where Allah says, Hal at, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, Hal ataka hadithul Musa, has the story of Moses reached you? Behold, thy Lord did call to him in the sacred valley of Tua. Go thou to Pharaoh, for he has indeed transgressed all bounds. And say to him, Wouldest thou that thou shouldest be purified, Tezekah, and that I guide you to thy Lord, so thou shouldest fear him? Then did Moses show him the great sign, but Pharaoh rejected it and disobeyed guidance. Further, he turned to it turned his back, striving hard against Allah, the guy in parenthesis in Yusuf Ali. Then he collected his men and made a proclamation. Fakola and Rambukumul El Ala. I had twenty-four here. I am your Lord the Most High. But Allah did punish him and made an example of him in the hereafter and in this life. And Allah says, Here it says, I at 26, Verily in this is an instructive uh, lesson, an instructive lesson for those who fear Allah, who have a loving fear of Allah. So, j just wanted to start with that from Quran. Um, as we know, the children of Israel were in bondage there in Egypt, and Allah sent Moses to free them. And as they wandered in the desert, Allah had them wander for 40 years. Uh, because, as we know, not giving a whole cup on this, Moses went up to the mountain and when he went, they built the golden calf, the samurai from Quran inspired them with Aaron to build the uh, golden calf. So um, they built the golden calf. But here we want to first, we want to make this uh, spiritual religious connection with uh, Egypt and Israel. And we see in, 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 you know, the, the physical actual uh, connection there and all that we see uh, going on. But as they were freed and they wandered, they were going towards the promised land. 
And the promised land became known, it was the uh, Canaan, Canaan, the Canaanites, Canaan, which today is uh, became known as Palestine uh, or Israel, as we know. Now, Moses didn't make it into the promised land, but his successor was Joshua. And Joshua made it into the promised land, which today would be called the Palestine or Israel. But it was it was the Canaan. It was Canaan. So. So I'm presenting this. I don't want to go on too long to the best way that I can to show these two connections as it relate to our history and our uh, community uh, under the leadership of Imam W.D. Muhammad when he was here and uh, and myself as well. I went to Egypt and I also uh, went to Israel, you know, uh, to Palestine, or Israel, the Dome of the Rock as well. And Imam Muhammad, as we know, and I'll show you that, he uh, went to Israel at the invitation of uh, Yasser Arafat, the president of the PLO, Palestine Liberation Organization. And we're going to show you that. But I want to show you some, inshallah, without going on, something very interesting that happened before that, that the imam was actually invited to Israel by the Israeli government as well. And he, uh, I'll share that with you. Alhamdulillah, I was just showing that real quick, um, showing this to show that uh, Imam Muhammad uh, had been to Egypt as well. Okay, and just making this connection, hopefully, the children of Israel were in bondage to Egypt, so in, 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 in the religious sense, right? And we see this connection also. Um, but again, we just want to look at the reality as well. Now, what we want to show, what we show concerning Imam in Egypt, um, uh, that was, I think, 1976 um, when he went to Egypt. But this here, now we see the promised land, right? Palestine, we're going to look at it from that in, in practical sense. Uh, this is 1997. You see Imam Muhammad uh, plight. Uh, of the Palestinians, Imam W.D. Muhammad uh, embarks on a pilgrimage to the to the land sacred to Christian Jews and Muslims, and he, he's there with uh, he's here in this paper with Arafat. Now, on this journey, there was a delegation, and in this delegation, you can you can see here he was invited by Yasser Arafat. And in the delegation, uh, you can see the imam in a delegation, Imam Plemon, uh, T. El Amin, Imam Omar Shaheed, Ronald Shaheed, Muslim Journal editor, Aisha uh, K. Mustafa. So now we're just making, making this connection because it's Egypt and Israel. 
right now from what we see in terms of um, uh, the role of Egypt in terms of, you know, the food supplies and all being able to come there, not to mention the, uh, the relationship that they have. But we just want to see, see this here. But there's something else I really want to get to before this. But this story here in the Muslim Journal, that was the Muslim Journal, uh, January 17th. This one is the 24th from Al-Aqsa Masjid Mosque to the city of Gaza. Imam W.D. Muhammad embarks on a pilgrimage to the land sacred to Christian Jews and Muslims, part two. You see? So here is more coverage of it. Um, and uh, Imam Abdul uh, Hassan of California, he wrote the story. So if I didn't mention his uh, name before as part of the delegation, you see? I know I mentioned our sister Aisha, the editor of the Muslim Journal. From Master Al-Aqsa to the city of Gaza. And you know Master Al-Aqsa, Allah mentions that in the Quran, uh, Surah 17, Bani Israel, uh, the first ayat. And you know Gaza is where all the bombing is taking place now. Where Hamas is. Okay, so what we're trying to do here, you showed ancient Egypt, uh, the pyramids, and you're seeing um, Israel, right? The children of Israel or Palestine, which was which this was uh, the Canaan, the Promised Land, etc. So we're just looking at this here, hopefully to get to where we're trying to go. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And if nothing else, uh, if I can make my full point, if nothing else, we're hopefully sharing good information with our community. Now, as myself, as I've shown you before, as a student of Imam W.D. Muhammad, and was motivated to travel to Egypt and myself and uh, write a book um, um, with, uh, concerning ancient Egypt as well. Um, and in later years, by the grace of Allah, I also went to Jerusalem, uh, Israel, Jerusalem, and also, as I showed you before, I had a chance to pray uh, and be at Juma at Masjid al-Aqsa. Now, this is the Dome of the Rock. Um, so, also, again, from Egypt to Israel, right? From Egypt to Palestine. And, and that's a reality today. Now, inshallah, we're going to share something that's very, very interesting. When Imam Muhammad was in Newark, and uh, we're going to see this connection between, in his talk, um, more than more than talk, I'll play it and then we'll, we'll, we'll say it. It was really a deep. He talked about ancient Egypt, but he also uh, talked about uh, being invited to uh, to Israel. Yes, in 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 Newark, New Jersey, in 1995. But he didn't just uh, talk about it. Um, this is very special. He asked our for our input, our thoughts and our suggestions and our opinion about him traveling to Israel, him being invited by the Israeli government to uh, come to Israel. And he was there in Newark with us there. I'll, I'm going to play that. I'm going to stop talking. And he wanted to know our thoughts about whether he should go or not. And then he said, then he would make his own opinion, but he, but he, but he cherished our advice, our suggestion and our, uh, uh, um, input concerning whether he should go or not. And that was a year before what you saw with him being invited and going with the delegation, uh, at the invitation of, uh, Yasser Arafat. So in 1995, 
was he was invited by the by Israeli government uh, Jewish uh, leadership, and then a year later he was invited or went there with what I've shown you. And uh, uh, Muslim Journal uh, also, as with the Imam, uh, gave us full page coverage of the journey to uh, to Israel. And here you see the Palestinian Nonviolent Center. I'm going to play a cassette, a clear um, cassette, some of the Imam saying it before I go, and you hear from the video because from the audio it's a lot clearer, and then we'll uh, uh, turn up the video. By the government of Israel. And, and that's our duty. Uh, I was invited to uh, Jerusalem by the government of Israel. Now, <laughs> right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> I like the way you responded. <laughs> that's right. Respond with some caution. So that, uh, that, that's right. That's, that's serious. That's serious matter. That ain't no easy thing. So they, they invite me to come there because I have convinced certain Jews in high places that I am a man that they should respect and that they should know more about. So they actually want me to come there. They, they, they want me to participate in a colloquium on nationalism and religion. They have heard me talk about the two. The idea of nation and in the in scripture. The idea of nature, nation in scripture. They have heard me say, and I'm sure that Rabbi uh, Rosen, big rabbi, who I met, and I was with them in the um, at world, uh, in the conference of uh, the, the World Religion and Peace Conference. I was uh, um, the um, World Conference of Religion and Peace. There I met Rabbi Rosen, Rosen and uh, uh, he was, uh, he liked what I was saying, uh, so we had some private conversations too. And he went back to Israel because he also heard of an effort by, uh, I hope you don't mind me taking up a little more time to tell you. This is in uh, Newark, New Jersey. He heard of an effort by a big, powerful uh, Protestant uh, reverend of Dallas, Texas, uh, Reverend Benton, and a strong so I played the audio because that was real clear, but uh, that cut off right at the end. I didn't have part two. So now I'm just going to share one other thing. Then we're going to let you hear the whole video part. And um, and and brothers and sisters from the master had given their, uh, their opinion and uh, their advice and their suggestion as to whether the imam should go to Israel or not. Um, also, remember, as we started, <clears throat> the connection with Egypt and Israel and going from the scripture as well. So also in that same um, session uh, there in Newark on October 10th, 1995, there in Newark there at the masjid there on uh, um, South Orange Avenue masjid, Muhammad at the time, that he also said some things he he spent a lot of time talking about Egypt, uh, ancient Egypt. <clears throat> and then he uh, opened up for questions concerning him going to Israel. So that I'm just seeing that that connection was made. I'm seeing that now. So, so here uh, we'll play a little bit of that and then go back to the, to the, uh, to the video we want to show. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, when you go there to Egypt and see its monuments, see how it looked back then. See, now you go and see those relics, you know, like, a, like, like you're looking at the, the prehistoric age, something from the prehistoric age or something, you know. But it wasn't prehistory, it was Egyptian history. Now, it was a, an environment 
a cultural environment. We just mentioned culture earlier. It was a cultural environment that was so powerful in its uh, uh, power to influence the way you think and feel that it would just subdue your mind and your mind would have to come under the influences of that culture. And you know it was a mystery. Mysterious. It was a mysterious culture. They played on mystery, the power of mystery, the power of the unknown. Some, uh, some of you have studied it, just like uh, a few of you perhaps, just like uh, Imam Mustafa al Amin, the author. Uh, yes. <laughs> so when you go there to Egypt and see its monuments, see how it looked back then, See, now you go and see those relics, you know, like, a, like, like you're looking at the, the prehistoric age, something from the prehistoric age or something, you know. But it wasn't prehistory, it was Egyptian history. <laughs> it was the glorious pages of Egyptian history, you know, uh, before Islam. So uh, you see these huge figures of human beings, and they're Egyptians. They're in the Egyptian dress, and they're very huge. You go and you, the door, the door looked like a giant should walk through the door. And then they have these huge figures of the Egyptians. And the, their people believe that their pharaohs were gods. The pharaohs were gods. Just showing that he talked about Egypt early in his talk, and then he shared with us um, his invitation to Israel.
Alhamdulillah. Now we we just showing this connection. We're gonna hear him now. I wanted to let you see him and hear him say uh he's invited to Israel. But I wanted to show that connection with Egypt first. Okay, so now you're gonna hear him um um uh, address that uh invitation. Alhamdulillah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Other people, um, many of them was killed, yeah. and and, I'm, and and you brought that to your major concern on visiting them. Um, no, that's not my major concern. That's okay. Well, okay. Uh, I'm the right thing. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, in, in that view of um, Muslims got killed going to teach other people, yeah. um, did you um, ask them to invite you to Israel um, no. for, for dialogue? No. no. Okay, thank you. I'm glad they you did. Invited. They invited you. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. So I think you should decline because... Um, so he said, when he our said, said, yeah, okay, I, I think you should decline. I don't want to know what the position is. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, Brother Randy said it was a bad position. Uh, I think that after you take our consensus, weigh it within your heart, and you know it's not true. But if it doesn't weigh within your heart after you pray, you should answer it. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say you're doing it, Brother. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. I'll get my time. Yes, sir. I'm going to say that if I look at the car and I'm still a 49 and I've lost this emancipation so I should know it up and not spot it up, right. I think it's the opportunity for me to get to know us better. And if I see the look at that, All right. I would proceed with the question. All right. Uh, so, I don't know. Imam Ali Muslim said one good father that we should, if we give an invitation to do something good, we should accept the invitation. So based on what Brother Imam Ali Muslim said, I think you should take it. All right. Okay. Yes, yeah, brother. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted you to come back to me because uh, my, my question specifically is not on the, the area that you're requesting. Alright. So you want me to come back to you? Inshallah. Alright, Inshallah. Yes. I'm going to go to the house. Allow God, but that's your camera. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is right in the middle. This is. Yeah. I'm going to Hey, Mom. So, Jack. The Palestinian head of the Palestinian Liberation Organization. And he knew. Once the fact that Nehemiah Sadat, they suggested himself as the first Muslim leader, I believe, who had gone into Jerusalem to meet with the leaders there. And even at this point, Yasser Arafat has been willing to take less of what. The Palestine's about to go in the past. Yes. I think it would be um, the title of the visit is beautiful, that it extended its invitation to you at this time. I'll leave you to do it. All right. Um, yes, brother. Yes, uh, I think uh, based on uh, our experience with you, the impact you've had on our lives, I think a moment, a moment within, would be a great influence. I think that weighs heavier than any of the things we discussed. Just the time that you spent with anyone, the influence it has on the future, I think is more important than everything else. All right. Yeah, yeah the president, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. You mentioned earlier that uh, the word Israel means we saw God. Yeah. 
And it will be proper if we spend our evening. And anybody else know that? An uh, invitation to become Muslim. But it wouldn't work. <laughs> it wouldn't, wouldn't be out of the land, it would be a problem. It would be proper to do that. Right. Who knows if any of them have ever been invited to become Muslim? Right. And who, who knows what, what may happen with that kind of surprise? They're not ready for that kind of invitation. They're not ready for that kind of surprise. He, he said in his session, open the letter, and the letter of me, I don't even have a I'd like you to come with the law, and take the shit out of it, and say that we don't want God, but one God, and Muhammad is his method. You know, we want to invite you to that person. Wow. <laughs> 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 and that's what you do. And you can do that. 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 You can do that we're going to be given to the tonight on. Or I can react to the pressure of the people that would pay for my going. Or I could seek God and not go until I'm comfortable inside the door. Yes, yes, and when I'm comfortable inside the door, I should go. Right. 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 And they're going to help God and help me to be walking. And when I'm comfortable with it, I'm going. Well, I'm going to come to Yeah, I don't get it yet. I don't get it yet. Yeah, the living is fat. That's right. 
Yes, yeah, so I thank you very much for your talk, John, and I want to think about it. And now I'm going to think about it with you, with what you said to me. And inshallah, Allah bless me in the morning to wake up and go do what I should do. Thank you very much. Thank you for the good you said. Alhamdulillah, um, I hope that we've shared some information that would be beneficial to us. But I, I've been sharing that, and we see here the Imam, that was in 95, and then a year later, Imam Muhammad, um, at the invitation of uh, Yasser Arafat, he went there to Jerusalem, Palestine, with his delegation. Alhamdulillah, Rebbe Alameen. And I think it would be good to share all of this in light of everything that we see going on now, the death and destruction, the war there between uh, Israel and Hamas and uh, all that we see, uh, the, 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 the sadness and all that we see uh, going on there now in current, current events. So, um, alhamdulillah, I hope this is of some benefit. But what I also find interesting is that Imam Muhammad was there in Newark, and uh, while he was thinking about going to Israel at the invitation that he received from the rabbis, etc., that um, uh, before he went, that uh, he presented that to us in Newark and got our uh, 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 input and helping him to decide to make his decision. I don't know if he, if he went at that time or if it was concerning this here, because it, it was just a year later that this actually take, has taken place. And some of us as students of Imam Muhammad and our experience have since then have also uh, gone to Jerusalem, uh, Israel, Palestine, etc. Uh, I think a group went this year. I went in uh, uh, 2018 as a part of what the Imam was talking about, interfaith uh, uh, a group. It was sponsored by the uh, Jewish Federation of New Jersey. So, of course, I am uh, honored myself to have uh, received that invitation and to have had that experience. And um, what we tried to show here is uh, uh, from a religious point of view, scripture the connection with uh, uh, Egypt and uh, in Israel, right? And that history of Egypt and Israel and then seeing in the, rea in the, in the real sense, uh, everyday sense, pardon me, uh, what we see going on now and how Egypt is, is involved with that and that in order for the supplies to come through, it has come through uh, uh, the board of uh, Egypt and uh, also... Uh, that's the area where they were telling them in the middle of this bombing if they want to get out of the way to go to that area there. But uh, for some reason, they didn't open and let them uh, migrate there. But alhamdulillah, I hope this is of some benefit. Uh, it was just a connection that came to me for myself and seeing what the leader did as well. And as Allah says in the Quran, O children of Israel, remember my favor upon you. And Allah also says how, how precious all human beings are. And so a uh, team, Allah says, Lakat kalak nalan sanafi asani taqween. I've created all human beings in the honorable, uh, upright statue, excellent statue. And he said in another place, I, we have honored all the children of Adam. And I'm honored to have been there in 95 when the Imam spoke on this and to see the reality now. And I'm honored myself to have had the opportunity to go to Jerusalem and to Egypt and to witness what we see now and hopefully uh, share some information that will help us all. And we pray for the Palestinians that they will have their true freedom and liberation. We pray for all those that are suffering 
the Jewish community, the Palestinian community, and all of those that are suffering in, in, this, in this war, this great devastation that we see going on. Alhamdulillah, we pray Allah will have mercy on the good believers, good people. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. As Allah says in Surah 79, Ayah 15, Have not the story of Moses came to you? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. As-salamu alaykum.